It's summertime and it's hot, so you might be thinking about shaving your golden retriever, but that's a huge mistake. It might sound counterintuitive, but their thick coats actually keep them cool. Goldens have what's called a double coat, which is made of a thick, fluffy undercoat and a long, flowy outer coat. Their double coat keeps them cool by trapping air between the two layers. This keeps the heat away and helps them regulate their body temperature so that they don't overheat. Plus, humans and dogs don't handle heat the same way. When humans get hot, we sweat, which cools us down. And it's nice to be wearing a tank top in the summer so that the sweat can evaporate, which is actually the way that sweating cools us down. But Goldens don't sweat like humans. They have a few sweat glands in their paw pads, but it's not their primary way to cool down like it is for us. Dogs cool down by panting. When they pant, moisture is evaporating from their lungs, tongue, and their nose, which cools them from the inside out. This is why whenever you get in from a hot walk, your dog is panting like crazy. And it's not only the heat that their coat protects them from in the summer. It also protects them from the sun and from bugs. It's mostly the outer coat that protects them from these two elements, so even if you think your dog is fine because you're not totally shaving them, if you cut their outer coat too short, you could leave them exposed to the sun, which could cause sunburn, or you could leave them exposed for bug bites. Not to mention, shaving their coat can also do long-term damage to it. According to the AKC, when you shave your dog's double coat down to the skin, the undercoat hair can grow back faster and sometimes crowd out the slower growing top coat. This can change the texture and color of your dog's coat and make it appear patchy and unattractive. We once fostered a golden retriever who had been shaved a few times by her previous owners. Her coat was patchy, thin, and coarse, and I'm sure a lot of that could have been avoided if they hadn't shaved her. And sure, there are many people who have shaved their goldens in the past and their coats have grown back fine, but every time you shave them, you're increasing the odds of damaging their coat in the future. If you're just now learning this for the first time and you've shaved your golden in the past, feed them a high quality dog food and take good care of their coat now to help them have a healthy coat in the future. We'll talk more about taking good care of their coat in a little bit, but first, let's get down to the root of the issue here. If you want to shave your golden retriever for the summer, you probably really want these two things. One, you want to keep your golden cool in the summer. And two, as a bonus, you would love to have a little less shedding in the house. Am I right? Well, let's look at how to actually keep your golden retriever cool in the hot summer, and then you'll learn some tips for how to control the overwhelming shedding. The first tip is to avoid the heat. Take your golden for their walks early in the morning or late in the evening when it's cooler out. You can also avoid the heat by staying indoors. This might sound boring, but there are lots of fun things you can do indoors with your pup when it's hot out. You can train them, play games like hide and seek or tug of war with them, or my golden's favorite thing, you can give them puzzle toys. Toys like frozen Kongs or snuffle mats can keep your pup entertained in the air conditioning. If you do like to hang out outside with your dog in the summer, then make sure your pup has some dog friendly ways to keep cool. You can put out a box fan in the yard for them and make sure that they have plenty of shade. Something that our dog absolutely loves is this mini pool. This little pool is a blast, it's quick to fill, it folds up pretty small, and it's lasted us three summers so far. I also stumbled on this shaded cot. I haven't used it yet, but it seems like it could work in giving your pup some shade. Plus, the fact that it's raised up off the ground helps with the airflow below them to keep them cool. And if you really wanted to make it an oasis for your dog, you could put a tray of ice below it so that the air circulating underneath it is even cooler. I'll drop links down in the description for you to the mini pool and the shaded cot. Golden retrievers were bred to retrieve birds and water, and many goldens love to go for a swim in the lake or pool on a hot summer day. But this brings us back to the shaving issue. Some people shave their goldens in the summer to help them dry quicker and prevent hot spots. If you're not familiar with hot spots, they're red, oozing sores that are painful for your dog. They often lick, chew, and scratch at them, which just makes them worse and worse. They're common in golden retrievers, and they can be caused by several things, including water trapped for too long in your dog's quote after swimming or bathing. We already talked about the dangers of shaving your dog, so you definitely don't want to shave them to prevent hot spots. You'll just be trading one issue for another. Instead, make sure that you dry them off thoroughly after they swim with towels or even a blow dryer made specifically for dogs, like this one we have for our golden. Yes, I know it's a lot of work, but that's what you signed up for when you got a golden. And look at your sweet golden's face right now. They're worth it, right? 
Other factors like allergies can cause hotspots too, so definitely talk to your vet if your golden retriever is getting hotspots. And hotspots aren't the only potential hazard from swimming regularly. Your golden retriever's floppy ears are adorable, but they do make them susceptible to getting ear infections. They trap moisture in their ears, which is obviously a bigger issue if they're swimming often. Be sure to dry out your dog's ears after they swim, and just like with hotspots, talk to your vet if you think your dog might have an ear infection. I'll drop a link for you in the description for tips on how to clean out your dog's ears and how to identify an ear infection. Now here's a tip that many people might not want to hear. If you want to help keep your golden retriever cool in the summer, make sure that they're at a healthy weight. Golden retrievers love food, so they're susceptible to being obese. If they're overweight, it can be harder for them to cool off. Talk to your vet about a healthy weight for your dog and how to keep them cool in the summer. There's also the risk of their paws getting burned or blisters on the hot pavement during walks in the summer. To see if the ground is too hot for your dog, the AKC recommends placing your hand comfortably on the pavement for 10 seconds. If it's too hot for your hand, it's too hot for your dog's paws. And if your golden gets too hot in the summer, they can have a heat stroke, which can be life-threatening. So definitely keep a careful eye on how hot it is outside and how much your dog is panting. If you live in a hot climate, talk to your vet about how to protect your dog in the summer. Now let's talk about the other reason people shave their golden retriever. Shedding. No matter what you do, your golden is going to shed. Goldens shed all year, but they typically blow their coat twice a year. This is when they shed their old undercoat to get ready for the next season, and it usually happens in the spring and the fall. Even if you shave them, they're just going to grow their coat right back and start shedding like a maniac again. Instead, take good care of their coat and take a few small steps to help keep your house cleaner and have less hair in it. You can do this by brushing your golden retriever a few times per week with a slicker brush. This gets the dead hairs in their undercoat out of their coat and onto the brush, which you can then put into the trash and keep it off of your floors. I'll link a video about our favorite brushes for golden retrievers down in the description for you. And when you brush them, do it outside, so that when you brush them, their hair is falling into the yard and not onto your floors. And here's a little bonus tip. Give them a big rub down before you bring them back inside. You'll get a lot of hair off that was just sitting on top of their coats, which can help you keep your home even cleaner. Many people think that using a de-shedder might help your dog with shedding, but it could actually damage their coats. It pulls and cuts at their undercoat, so just stick to using a slicker brush or an undercoat rake for your golden retriever. And many people do take their goldens to the groomers, but I've heard lots of horror stories about the groomer cutting their dog's hair too short. So definitely do your research before you put your dog's coat in the hands of someone else. Shaving your golden is not good for their health, but now that you've seen this video, you can avoid making this mistake with your pup. And if you want to see what other things humans do that are bad for their golden retrievers, check out this next video about the 12 things golden retrievers hate that humans do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.